Internal bleaching refers to a discolored tooth that is bleached from the inside. Due to an root canal treatment, a tooth may become severely discolored. Bacteria, blood, and saliva components enter the tooth canal during the root canal treatment. Bacteria decomposition products will then lead to a dark discoloration of the tooth. The objective of an internal bleaching lies in the removal of the tooth discolorations without sacrificing any of the hard tooth substance. A special gel is inserted into the interior of the tooth, neutralizing the discolorations. However, it's very important to treat the cause as well, in other words, to renew the root canal treatment, because without this renewal, the tooth would eventually darken again, sometime after the internal bleaching. Here you see a patient with a dark upper right incisor. Years ago he took a fall and the root of the tooth was not properly treated. As the years passed the tooth became discolored. The root canal treatment had already been renewed once in an earlier session. Now the tooth is opened once more from the rear, the same opening as in the root canal treatment. Bleaching gel is inserted in the cavity that is subsequently created. The tooth is then tightly closed and the gel is left in it for two or three days. Depending on the discoloration, this procedure may be repeated several times. As soon as the tooth has achieved the desired color tone, it's closed tightly. Depending on which part is discolored, the crown as well as the root of the tooth may be brightened with the bleaching gel. Alternatives to internal bleaching would include manufacturing a crown or possibly a veneer. However, these procedures would be far more costly. The particular risks of internal bleaching are, for example, pain after treatment due to a leaky root filling and the discharge of the bleaching gel, or a perforation of the crown or root of the tooth when the tooth is drilled open. Both complications can ultimately lead to the loss of the tooth.